Today, I ask the angels to visit you in this greeting. A divine appointment of God's salams here at Maristan's healing journey. Let's invite Allah's light into the brushing of our shoulders. Let us set our intentions right. Let's make the ummah's nur grow bolder. When I cast you a salam, wrap it in rahmah and send it back. A peace be upon you. It is better than a shirt from off a back. A salam from a Muslim? That's a gift from the heavens. And you never know, it could have been sent down from the seventh. Assalamu alaikum. May God's peace be upon you. May the nur of a nur shine down on you. May the angels twirl around you. If you knew, it would astound you what is packaged in our peace. This is a greeting that sets the spirits free. And I don't know about you, but the world outside does not necessarily scream peace. And yet the barakah of this greeting can turn our usra into ease. You would not believe me if I told you assalamu alaikum saved a life. You would not believe me if I told you it had the power to ease a Muslim strife. Sometimes it's a salam in the streets to remind you that you are not alone. And sometimes it's a salam to someone in need to remind you your mouth is a home. It is a sign of the end times when we pretend not to know one another. Like a family full of strangers, no sense of sister or brother. But this ummah is equipped with a vocabulary to carry each other's sorrows. To ensure God's blessings are all widespread. To ensure people spread peace tomorrow. So let's turn our mouths into gardens. Orchards full of trees. From which we give to our ummah all this. And the salamu alaikum that you give me. <laughs> salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To the beautiful audience all over the United States, all over the world. My name is Amal and my name means hope in Arabic.